welcome back to my channel again. So today's video, I'll be reviewing the uh, Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. I actually bought this for quite a while now. It's just that I haven't got to use it yet. So today is the day that I will be using this to remove my makeup. Uh, I bought this at Sephora. The price is at about 149 ringgit Malaysia, excluding shipping. Cleansing Balm has two usage. So one is uh, it acts as a makeup remover. The second one, you can use it as a double cleansing stage. For today, I will be using this as a makeup remover. Okay, so um, let me see what does this uh, has for the main ingredients. It's basically cruelty free, it's vegan, it's free of parabens and sulfates. One of the uh, main ingredients in this product is actually papaya enzyme, papaya seed oil and also blueberry extract. So what it does is, this sorbet like cleansing balm harnesses papaya enzymes to gently resurface skin while dissolving makeup, dirt and oil, creating a baby soft canvas for skincare and makeup. Antioxidant rich blueberries, soothing apricot kernel oil, and moisturizing camellia seed oil leave skin clean, bouncy, and glowing. Um, there are so many fruits involved. <laughs> of course, as some of you guys know, Glow Recipe is one of their specialty is they use fruits as one of their main ingredients for their skincare products. They do have the blueberry gentle cleanser which I also previously did a review on that. They also have the watermelon spray, the watermelon toner, pineapple serum, more and more. Without further ado, let's get started on the packaging. Okay, okay so as usual, the packaging is like this. That's a very orangey papaya here <laughs> display. And there you go, one tub of Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet um, Enzyme Cleansing Balm. So let's smell. It has a protective cover like this, um, which is good, very hygienic, I like that. Mm. Smells very bubblegum. I do get a little bit of papaya scent. The inside is like this. Unfortunately, this product doesn't provide a spatula for you, so give me a minute, I'll go and get my spatula. One minute later. So what I'll do is, I'll scoop up. Oh, it's very easy to scoop up. As they mentioned, it's a generous amount of product and... Um, okay, so what I'll do is, I will rub this against my hands until everything is dissolved, until it becomes very oily and then I'll apply it on my face, rubbing my eyes, very gently rubbing my eyes and around the nose and the mouth area because that's where a lot of my makeup products is. Uh, I'll rub it until I see the makeup is getting off my face and then I'll just rinse it with water. So hey guys, I'm back. I finished cleansing my skin. I would like to share with you guys on my thoughts on this papaya sorbet cleansing balm. It removes very easily with, as long as you have a spatula. When I rub the product against my palms, the product dissolves almost immediately. So, and it definitely also dissolves most of my makeup completely, which I am very, very impressed. I felt that even cleansing oil couldn't melt the makeup as fast as cleansing balm. This is my first time using balm type makeup remover so I have never experienced anything like this before, <laughs> I gotta be honest. It removes my makeup completely. I don't have to worry about the residues makeup product that will leave on my skin. It's very big tub for a price like 149 ringgit. I feel the price is absolutely worth it. While the cons is probably the smell is a little too strong for me because for me, I prefer products that are less to no fragrance. The moment that I opened up this tub of product, the smell is like whoosh in front of my face. So it's not that I don't like the smell, it's just that I felt that the smell is too strong, too overwhelming for me. For some people who doesn't like strong fragrance, this product may not be suitable. And then also, um, when I purchased this product, it 
it doesn't come with a spatula to help you to scoop the product out or whatsoever so you guys have to buy your own spatula or you guys have to use the ones that you have at your home and uh, scoop up the product and apply it on your face I wouldn't recommend you guys to use your hands to dig out the product because it's very unhygienic that's about the cons that I have for this product and also this product is actually suitable for all skin types feel free to try it out if you guys are looking for a cleansing balm or looking to try out balm type makeup remover this one is actually a very good product I believe that's about it for my review today and for my sharing today um, Will I repurchase it again? Of course, I will definitely repurchase it again This tub of uh, cleansing balm is about 100ml So I think I can use this for quite some time And also it depends on the size of your face So the smaller the face is, the lesser product you need to use But if the bigger the face is, of course the faster that you finish using it and then the faster that you will have to repurchase it as long as the product is working for your skin and if the price is reasonable I feel that it is worth purchasing so I hope you guys enjoy this video if you have any comments or have any questions don't forget to comment down below don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one take care bye